How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? About to get in the fuzz. What's going on? What's going on, people? It is the day of another day. Of another day that we call Tuesday. Anybody been said what's good, people? But everybody's doing everything as far as being prosperity in the life of living. Now, I want to talk to you about um, a guy that someone in the family member introduced me to a record to a video. Now, I saw his videos before. His name was Fly Young Red, an openly gay rapper. And um, basically, he has a new video I call The Rain. Now, the video is celebrating trans women inside the video. Now, the thing about it is, in the video, he's talking in reference to you know, um, Lorraine, he's talking about how the um, person lives their life as far as being trans and he goes all over the spectrum and basically give you an idea what happens to the trans women, um, give you some small spurts of what happens to trans women, you know, when they're being murdered and how they get killed and basically um, his whole thing is that you can't deal with guys that on the DL because guys in the DL end up getting you killed. Now, I'm going to put the link to his video at the bottom but I want to check I want you to check out um, a little information and reference him give your idea of reference his work well let me introduce you to someone his name is Fly Young Red he is a rapper now his government name is Franklin Freeman Randall and he is 26 years old he was born October the 5th 1991 in New Orleans now in case you don't remember him I'm giving you an idea now he brought out a song that was called throw that boy pussy up back in 2014 and basically in the videos he was showing guys that was gyrating and throwing that boy pussy up and of course it created tragic controversy as far as the song you know because there were men that was gyrating and it was like a breakthrough then you have another song called Throw It, which was released in 2016. And he's a rapper basically having a video. has women that are dancing and stuff in the video. You know, dancing and strippers and stuff inside the club. Also, he has a new song out as of May 29th, which is just the Fly Young Red is an LGBT artist that created the song to raise awareness in the trans community about the dangers that they face in everyday life bring back our girls hashtag hashtag trans lives matter now in this video he has um a lot of trans women that's in the video and they're dancing and stuff of course to a song you know basically showing trans visibility and the difference as far as you know the the bodies and the beauty and everything as far as you know standing out truth and he has a mind got this in there of course from star you know, and it's when you are um, a rapper and stuff, you stand in trip, of course, you have haters and stuff. And this is what he had to say as far as the haters. Check this out. Right now, I had to make a video and say something about something because ain't nobody else saying nothing about it. So it is what it is. This is how I feel. I don't give a fuck who don't like it, who do like it. I'm just getting really tired of these straight, biggest straight rappers, this and that, whatever, whatever keep saying that by somebody being transgender and black or somebody being gay and black, they hurting the community, feminizing the community, they doing this, doing that, doing whatever, whatever they doing, trying to destroy black humanity because me, they didn't already say I'm trying to destroy the black race. Look at the comments under the videos, all that, whatever, whatever. To that, I say, Stop worrying about what a gay motherfucker is doing. Go get you some pussy. Go get you some money. Stop worrying about what a gay motherfucker doing, dog. Y'all the ones who've been brainwashed, nigga. Since way back in the days, white motherfuckers used to bread y'all black motherfuckers to be hard. To be masculine. They used to pick the ones with the biggest dicks and the muscles and all that bullshit and purchase you motherfuckers. So that stemmed in y'all head that if a, if a black man plays the guitar, if a black man go to college and read and write and do different things or want to be a painter or something different, that he's less than a black man or he's feminizing this, or if he want to be gay or put on a wig or whatever the fuck he's feminizing you. 
No, that's just a different type of black person. They got gay black people, white people, Spanish people, but black people put that so much in y'all head because y'all being ingrained to be so hard and happen to be so this and so that and so whatever that any other, anything else is less than or anything else you a bitch, anything y'all to put that all in the children. Like, look, when your mama, look, not, not my mama, because my mama loved me, but any other mamas in the hood, they're glorified little man, man, for selling weed. But they have put out, um, yeah, you're an abomination because that's what they're being told to do. You hear me? But they want to glorify Lil Man Man. The fuck you going to think it happened to Lil Man Man? We get eight or nine years for selling crack, selling drugs, living like the rappers telling him to live. You hear me? He's going to go to jail for a couple of years. You know what's going to happen? The man ain't gonna get fucked. You're gonna be sucking dick anyway. If it's in you, it's in you. Just cause somebody, this transgender wanna walk up the street with hair on and heels on, um, you hear a gay song, a gay this, a gay that, that should make you wanna be gay. If you wanna be gay because of that bitch, it was in you. You've been wanting to suck a little dick. You heard me? You've been wanting to get down. You heard me? Stop keep running these people back in their closet and making people feel some type of way about what the fuck they doing that ain't even got nothing to do with you. Because you know what's going to happen next? They're going to start going back in the closet, taking their wigs off and going, fuck your sister. They're going to go fuck your mama. They're going to go fuck your aunties, your cousins. They're going to go fuck all of them because they trying to hide in a closet from some shit that you saying. Y'all should be happy when the motherfucker come out. Y'all just be happy as hell when a nigga come out. That's one less nigga that's trying to fuck your bitch. One less nigga that's doing them. One less nigga that you're not going to have to do nothing to because you done caught them in the bed with a man your fuck, that's dating your fucking sister, your fucking mama, or whatever. Let people do them, dog. Black people be so worried about what the next motherfucker doing, how this look, how this that. What I'm supposed to be someone drinking lean, selling drugs, coming up with gun charges and all that fucking bullshit. A dick can't even shake a lean hat, boy. <clears throat> I don't care who like it. Who don't. I don't really give a fuck. Dog, if you gay, do you. Stop listening to all this bullshit, all this brainwashing ass bullshit. They trying to make you feel like you doing something to them because they don't want you to be there. act like you don't exist. Tell it's time to go to jail, and they creeping all in your room and all you, 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 all that bullshit. Yeah, all that, motherfucker. So, say all this to say. <laughs> Once again, let me wrap this up because now I'm rambling, dog. But all that feminizing the black race and all that, nigga, please get the fuck out of here, nigga. What, what, what you doing? You, you cooking a little turkey, giving a turkey out, trying to be, want to be Nino Brown ass, want to be another nigga, cooking a little, giving out a little turkey, or doing this or doing that, and you thinking you helping, but you rapping and they talking about lean and telling them Zans and party, fuck, buku bitches, all this and all of that. What the gay people need to stop doing is stop fixing y'all bitches' hair. They need to stop putting lashes on y'all bitches and teaching them makeup tricks and dressing them bitches and choreographing you motherfuckers. That's what they need to stop doing. But y'all got them brainwashed too because if anything straight, if you could get down with the straight people, you get accepted by them, you cool. Because what you doing is wrong. But if you could do my hair, you could do my eyelashes, you okay. Oh, he a punk, but he okay. He, he do good at That punk do good at I hear you. Keep, keep letting people play in your face. Celebrity, no celebrity, whatever. Be your motherfucking self. If you want to go do you, do you. Just be true to yourself, dog. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm done with this shit. I don't give a fuck. You don't like it. Fuck you. Suck a dick, bitch. I give a fuck. Hand, fly your wrist. Shameless plug. Go watch, throw it. Go watch my video, nigga. Throw it. Just throw it. You mind if I wild out? Go, li go listen to my music, nigga. Shameless plug, because I know this shit going to be everywhere. Because they don't have too many gay celebrities who speak out on this shit. I want to look bad or care about what a motherfucking celebrity think about me. I don't give a fuck. It's not going to stop no money from coming in my pocket. 
I don't care what y'all doing. You don't represent me. If I was worried about how y'all represent me, I'd be worried about why y'all worried about me. Right? Why the police right running after me? Why I got on a fitted cap riding in my form? That's what I'd be. I'd be pissed off at you. Look how y'all doing. Look how y'all making me look. I can't even ride around in my car because they thinking I'm shooting somebody. This and that. And all. I don't give a fuck about what y'all do. I don't have fuck, fuck, nothing to do with me. Nothing. Stop worrying about getting a gay motherfucker. Go get you some pussy. Go get you some money. Stop worrying about what a fucking gay nigga doing, dog. Well, you heard it for yourself. Fly Young Red. Keep your head up, Fly Young Red. Those ones that's talking about you are doing the same thing. Keep putting those trans women inside of videos. Keep showing them that we exist. We're more than our bodies. Keep showing them how beautiful these trans women are. And we'll stand behind you because you stand behind us. What the hell? What? We're still taping. What the hell? This bitch done walked off. Raven, we're still taping. Raven, get your big ass back here. Raven, what is you doing? What, bitch? I know you ain't writing no picket up. No. Bitch, this bitch is writing a picket. <laughs> you writing a picket, bitch. Come on. Okay, you see that? You know, very, 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 very good rapper. You know, his name is Fly. Young Red, and basically he's 26 years old, um, basically allegedly that's what age said, and this one actor he's out in New Orleans and stuff, and, you know, I always feel like this, when someone supports my community, I try to support them back, and, you know, it doesn't matter whether they are gay, straight, bi, or case and be, but in his case, allegedly he's straight, I mean gay. So, um, I just think that it's a good thing, because I always feel as though he shouldn't stand alone when it comes to someone who's standing there true. Now, this is my thing. I always feel like it, it's, it's hard to be a person who stands in your truth and go against the grain because in the grain, it, people are going to go against you, people are going to attack you. People feel as though you have to follow a spectrum as far as like when you're a person who do not follow that spectrum, you get attacked. You know, I get attacked because of the way I do my open eye. Everything about us get attacked. So as far as standing in your truth and being true you, true the person that you are, you're going to be attacked, criticized, judged, and a lot of times it's, um, the judgment is going to come from actually people inside of your LGBT. And you're thinking that it wouldn't, but reality is that they always say those who attack you are the ones who will not like you. You know, I thought it was a good thing as far as what he's trying to do and reference to that now. But um, I saw it on YouTube and stuff, and thanks to one of the family members, like I said, thank you. And basically, they gave me the idea in reference to, you know, um, what he was talking about, his message. You know, basically stop killing trans women, bring our girls back and stuff. You know, it's, it's sad, but it's real. And I have to celebrate a person who can see our struggles and try to put a message out there as far as stop trying to kill us. You know, and I have to celebrate him as far as himself. You know, I celebrate you as far as that, you know, um, fly in red, you know. And I'm going to put this video, like I said, at the bottom and stuff. And... Hopefully you check it out. Hope you support him. You know, he, I mean, this is the thing. Like he said in his when he said in the video, we need to start supporting supporting those who support us. In order to, you can't complain about a message if you still support people that don't give a damn about you. If people don't give a damn about you, you need to start sticking around the ones who do. And that would be a good thing if people will follow through on that. That's like back in Martin Luther King type of days. You know, we all stick together, but hopefully one day somebody will stand up and say, you know what, they're right, and then someone could do it, you know, hopefully, you never know, you never know, leaders come out of every community and everything, you never know who's going to be the one to stand up as far as that, but I'm going to celebrate him as far as this, you know, as far as this video, so fly on um, your red and stuff, you know, check him out, like I said before, you got to check the video out. I always feel as though if someone is standing in front put a trans woman in a music video, he needs to be celebrated. So, thank you, Young Red. <laughs> you know, and I just want to hear your feedback and reference to this stuff. You know, he's very controversial and, you know, it's very controversial. But, you know, like I said before, sex sells. And when you basically throwing it out there like that, that's sometimes people get attention. 
and and to me I feel as though he's got my attention and his message very powerful. Anyway, the best that I just wanted to share this story with you, and I'd love to hear your feedback on this. And I will let you know that I love you, and I want to thank you for watching Cat Story. Support those who support you, people. It's a young man standing his truth, fighting for you. Don't let him walk alone. And I want to tell you, thank you for watching Cat Story. See you.